So, Spain is the latest to join the list of countries offering data nomad visas. I've talked about several countries on this channel in the past, and Spain is now joining the ranks now, offering data nomad visas. And I think reading through the requirements and some of the perks that comes with the data nomad visa for Spain, it's the most exciting of the previous data nomad visas that I've discussed on this channel. And I'm going to go through some of the requirements, some of the benefits that comes with having the Spain data nomad visa of course besides the ability to access the 27 Schengen countries now including Croatia so I'm going to go through that and what you need to put in place in order to apply for the Spain data nomad visa now data nomad visas is something that has sparked a lot of conversations in the past with a lot of people believe in including myself that data nomad visas are just a PR stunt by most countries to uh, just get in line with this data nomad wave that's going on 80% of Millennials have indicated that they would like to work remotely 100%. And there is a statistic that says that about 30 million Americans will be working remotely by 2025. So that's a very big deal. So if you're looking to say bye-bye to the regular office schedule, the Itinema visa might be something to consider. So let's jump right into Spain Itinema visa. By the way, if you want to check out the other Itinema visas that I've talked about in the past, you can check them out in the playlist here that I'm going to put here in the cards. I'll go check them out. So you're allowed to apply for the Spain detail in my visa if you are a non-EU citizen, meaning you are not allowed to work or stay long-term in the EU region, then you can apply for the Detail Nomad visa. So what are the things that you need? Of course, you need to be a Detail Nomad, meaning you have to be able to work remotely, you have to be employed by a non-Spanish company, or you have to have clients outside of Spain. So if you run your own business, you're a freelancer, you have your own company, you're allowed to serve people or clients within Spain up to 20% of your current capacity, meaning if you're not employed full-time by a foreign company then 20% of your activities you can dedicate that to clients within Spain you must also have not held residency in Spain for the last five years so if you had residency in Spain in the past for the last in the last five years you cannot apply for this. You must also have been working remotely for at least one year. You must show proof that you've been with your employer for at least one year or show proof that you've had your company for over one year. So if you have a registered company, uh, you must have documentation that shows that you've had your company for over a year. And also you must have a clean criminal record, meaning you have to go back to your country of residence and be able to obtain record that you have. Uh, you're free from all criminal activities and the government can attest to that fact. Also, you must have private insurance coverage that is valid throughout the entirety of your stay in Spain. Talking about private insurance, I have a link to my safety with nomad insurance, which you can use for this purpose. So go check out the link in the description and for also other things and other tools and resources that I travel with as well. So if you're looking for health insurance to apply for detailed nomad visas or to just travel as a detailed nomad, Safety Wing is a company that allows that. You're not locked into any contract at all. You can sign up month to month and you can cancel whenever you feel like doing that. I also made a review about Safety Wing. I'm gonna leave that in the cards here as well. So if you have a contractual agreement with a foreign company and you can demonstrate proof of work with your company, for at least three months prior to your application, then you can apply. What are some of the benefits of this data nomad visa? Which is what I really want to talk about. I think it's what sets it apart from most data nomad visa. So for the data nomad visa for Spain, it's valid for up to one year. But upon getting to Spain, getting your data nomad visa, you can turn your data nomad visa to apply for a temporary resident permit that is valid for up to three years. And upon expiry of those three years, you can then renew for an additional two years meaning you can be in Spain on this visa for up to five years. And what happens after the five years, it's what's interesting because after five years, you can then be eligible to apply for a permanent residency in Spain. And that's all coming through the Dita Nomad visa that you apply for. And the only caveat is that you meet the conditions of the Spanish government. Of course, you must be uh, paying your taxes. You must not have any criminal record and things of that nature. I'm pretty sure everyone can add it. Now, there are also tax benefits to being a Dita Nomad in Spain. And the tax benefit is that you pay a lowered rate of 15% on your personal income while being a data nomad in Spain for up to four years. And after becoming a resident, that you can pay the average rate of 24%. So if you're looking for a lower tax rate, I think Spain is a perfect situation for this. And if you're looking for a pathway to obtaining 
EU residency after five years. I think this is a great way to do it as well. Now, Spain is not the only country offering the my visas, but I think it's the most exciting of all the d my visas that I've talked about on this channel in that it gives you a pathway to residency, you know, lower tax benefits, and of course, the cost of living in Spain is one of the lowest in Europe as well, but it's still relatively affordable compared to other Central European countries. So if you're considering options of d my visas, I think Spain is a d my visa to apply for. And the income requirement for this visa is that you need to be making twice the national minimum wage, which is right now about $1,050. And if I do the conversion, it means you need to be making $2,277 as at the time of recording this video. So if you're making at least $2,300, then you are financially capable of applying for the Spanish d visa. So like I said, Spanish d visa is one of the most exciting that I've covered on this channel because it gives you all the spat ways, cheaper cost of living, lower tax benefits, and of course a pathway to residency and eventually citizenship of the EU. So if you're looking for help and applying for the my visas, I'll leave a link to my private community where you can contact me and I'll put you in touch with people who do this full time because I may not be able to help you with everything. Anyways, uh, if this video has been helpful, consider subscribing and if you have any questions about the my visas, how to travel as the my sustainably and long term, making good money while you do it and also having the best time of your life. Leave questions about them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to to respond to them as fast as possible. My name is Daniel and I hope to see you in another video. Bye now.